hi to all um, a short tutorial on how to form find using a direct stiffness method now this is a technique that uh, maybe nobody knows how to use it and so we'll do a very short tutorial on this first of all we start a new project using the NFDM method the natural force density method um, let's make an I par so I go into the CAD tool and make new layer my CAD activate the new layer let's make a rectangle center center point is the origin and uh, relative uh, for for so this is my my basic rectangle then let's create two mass at three meters and uh, let's copy this one here down there okay new layer membrane activate the new layer so let's create a mesh for the i bar very simple let's make four point mesh c to close the mesh and then so this is this is the model we see we have here if i double click and we have the warp stress and the web stress set to one uh, let's supply a material and this is our basic shape first thing that we need to do is to set the warp weft orientation of the mesh uh, to do this let's go into the UGS and we set UGS x-axis from here to here at 45 degrees uh, right click on the mesh warp weft mapping set the warp weft orientation so the current x z plane is the warp plane click on ok and we are done um, if we want to see the mesh orient the warp weft orientation we go into the plot plot options labels and we, we enable activate warp weft axis um, and we can see here let's change the color to a light gray and let's change the axis scale for these we see now for each triangle a red green and blue arrow so the red is the warp the green is the weft so to remember red green blue rgb colors warp weft and normal vector of the triangle meshes so we see that they are all the warp direction is the red direction on the mesh so we always have to set the warp weft direction when we are using the nfdm method the stiffness method or the update reference strategy method so we have done here now comes we want to do a form finding using a direct stiffness method so we will not use the nfdm solver and uh, you should know that when we do the form finding the form finding does not really need uh, material specification so to be able to do this on a very deformable shape let's go into the into the into the materials and I will make a new material new steel and call it steel form finding steel form finding we put a very low E modulus then we create a new material for the membrane new material 
and we call it membrane form finding again with a very small E modulus in warp in weft and we need to set a thickness of one millimeter a Poisson a very small Poisson and a very small shear modulus so basically we are doing a, a fictitious material that has a very very low stiffness so we create a new property with this material add property with this material membrane form finding and we add it to the model uh, we go into the steel material steel form finding add a new property with this steel we are going to use this steel for the cables and we need a profile we will get six millimeter profile apply this profile so here we have the steel and we add it to the model so basically we have created a membrane form finding and a steel uh, for form finding and now comes everything so double click on the mesh we have selected the mesh in the mesh properties now the material we are going to use is the membrane form finding and the deformability is set to stiff deformable stiff deformable means that we are going to use a real uh, finite element mesh objects again I select the cable edges these are nonlinear they are again stiff deformable that means real uh, cable elements and we will use our steel form finding now we can set the real pretension and let's set it to 10 kilonewtons and we're done let's save this model so basically <coughs> we are doing a form finding now we have activated the NFDM solver but since the mesh has been set to stiff deformable and the edges are also stiff deformable uh, basically the NFDM solver will be skipped when we run the form finder so let's see what happens let's save the current geometry we we activate the form finder and you see now that only the nonlinear analysis tab comes up and that means basically that um, the FNFDM form finder is going to be skipped we set very low constraints on the convergence criteria our geometry will move a lot and we run the form finder you see he has run the form finding and we get out the final shape let's give a look at the precesses so into response we can activate form find results and we want to see the sigma 1 stresses we can deactivate and we see from the plots that basically we have 1 up to 0 0.998 so basically it's all with a 1 kilonewtons per meter precess if we look at the sigma 2 precess precesses again we have a precess of 0 0.99 to 0 0.996 and again if we look at the cable edges the cable edges have all 10 kilonewtons precess 10 kilonewtons precess So basically, we have done a form finding Let's give a look at the reaction forces uh, 19 kilonewtons here 19 kilonewtons on the other side Let's give a look from top 19 kilonewtons, 408 19 kilonewtons for zero 08 so basically we have done um, 
a form finding using exactly the stiffness method. As you might know, the quality of a solution always depends on uh, the quality of the fan mesh. So let's make a new model. I have deleted the old one. And a new model. But first of all, I will use 21 by 21 points. Uh, an odd, neither, an, an odd <coughs> number of points means that I will get a symmetric mesh, while in the previous model my mesh was not symmetric. And um, let's create again the mesh. Like that. Close. And so you see we have a mesh, more smaller mesh. And our mesh now is symmetric. We have a center point here. And it's perfectly symmetric. Again, you see this x-axis like that mesh warp width mapping okay change the color of the mesh to light gray and um, again the mesh is uh, uh, membrane stiff and stiff deformable. The edges the edges we put steel form finding st stiff deformable and uh, a pretension of uh, 10 kilonewtons per meter. Save so, we have done exactly the same model as before, but with a smaller mesh size to get a more accurate result. Again, nonlinear analysis, we run the analysis, and we have again a shape. Of course, our mesh now is smoother, the curves are smoother. Let's give a look at the precess form finding, sigma 1 stresses. Let's hide the mesh. And we see how now the stresses again from 1 up to 0 0.999. We see how nice the stress distribution is. Perfectly symmetric also the stress distribution. Let's give a look at the sigma 2 stresses. Again, these are the stresses, sigma 2, 2 stresses. And um, von Mises. Uh, the reaction forces. Uh, we have 19.286. In the previous model, it was 19.408. So the stresses are a little bit smaller. And let's give a look at the axial forces. And this is the end of this uh, short tutorial.